please, sir. Uh, what does that say? Oh, Buenos Aires. Give it a rest, Sam. But I've only got to bees. My dad could be anywhere in there. It doesn't matter where he is. Where he isn't is here. Now, don't make me tell you again. Just get them pigs fed. Oh, now your dad's away. You've both got to pull your weight. Oh, go on then, Sam. Kick that swell. Here on phone. Oh, Charity's heard she wants to come round. Oh, yeah, I'll bet she does. She wants to keep her on investment now he's gone. Benefit of the doubt, Kane. Even Charity's not that artless. There's nothing she likes better than kicking a woman when she's down. You just watch it. <sighs> Oi! Swill it. She's going way over the top. She's meant to be investigating a straightforward domestic accident. Yeah, but it's what the police do. Ask questions. Yeah, but to go through her phone records, they must be looking for something. Yeah, well, they're not going to find anything, are they? You just stick to your story. I mean, as far as they're concerned, whatever you say happened, happened. Oh, Terry, have you got a minute? Uh, not now, Viv. But you've just got to stay calm. Put this in perspective. If you lose your nerve now, you blow it. Oh, God, it's her. What does she want now? <laughs> Why didn't you go and ask her? She's not going to go away off her own bat, is she? Judy! Well, how about that one? Comes in black slate or fuchsia with a sequin option. And it's got a matching skirt. Isn't it lovely? Oh, it is. Just think way back in the mists of time, when we first made our New Year's resolution. I don't, I don't bite my nails and, and you, that's right, you don't spend our money on clothes. You can't expect me to keep a New Year's resolution for a whole year. Ten years would be better. I'm in the entertainment business. I've got to look my best. <laughs> Marla, can I have a word? Yeah. It's a shame, though. Their January sales are full of bargains. I've got those trousers half price and those shoes. Mm. Mind you, I don't think they'll suit everybody. They've only got small sizes left. No new clothes for a whole year. It's going to kill me. <laughs> you may as well have resolved to sell around the world single-handed. Whatever possessed you? Oh, I didn't think it'd keep me to it, did I? I'll be out the back if you need me. Everything all right? Fine. He has gone off to seek his fortune. We're talking about Zach Dingley and not, not Harrison Ford. I can't see it myself. When's he going to come back? You know as much as I do. Well, he's dropped Lisa right in it. Typical Dingle fella. Do what they want and then stuff everyone else. Hey, hey, hey. I might share the name, OK? But I don't share the game. Yeah, well, if he has left her, she'll be in a right state. So I'm going to get up there and see if there's anything I can do. I, are you coming? Yeah, yeah, I'll come when I'm finished. In fact, I'll bring my chicken a la Marlon. Belle loves me chicken a la Marlon. Yeah, but I bet the poor kid would rather have chicken a la Zach, eh? I'll see you in a bit. See ya. And could you just go over the calls you made on the day? I do need to make sure I've got the facts exactly right. Oh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> um, could you pass me Diane's catalogue, please, Louise? <laughs> Thanks. Right. Uh... After Ray had gone, I rang Diane to see what she was up to. I didn't exactly relish the thought of spending Christmas Day on my own. And according to your statement, you made no other calls? Yeah, that's right. According to your phone records, a call to Terry Wood's mobile was made from your number that afternoon. Oh, right, yeah, I didn't think that counted. Um, I didn't actually speak to Terry, I just left a message. Why Terry? I felt that I owed him an explanation for accusing him of being the stalker. He was released from custody some time ago. Why choose that particular afternoon to apologise? Well, it was just a Christmas goodwill thing. You know, with everything else that's been going on, I just forgot about it. It just simply slipped your mind. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm a little bit flaky on the details, Judy, but my boyfriend's just died here. What the hell do you expect? Something's been bothering me, Louise. What? The holiday that you and Ray had plans for. The one he couldn't make because he was called away on urgent business. Yes? Well, I know Ray was well off, but I didn't think he'd be the type who'd choose to throw money away. Your club class flights, your five-star hotel, they were booked. But it never crossed your mind to cancel them. Oh, yeah. All right. 
You left early last night. Had an early start. Oh, that's why we're up drinking till two o'clock then, eh? You lying pig. I thought I'd get out firing line. Do you and Steph ever stop laying into each other? It's just a bit of fun. We don't actually mean what we say. Just everyday girlish banter, eh? Girlish Steph. She has to sleep with a jaw bandage shut to control those wrinkles. Where are you going? Some work I need to do on roof. Oh, the uh, roof that we finished last week, yeah? But uh, we haven't sorted out what we're doing later. We're still a bit behind. May have to work over. Oh. Well, how about a drink? Oh, you could come round to mine. I'll cook. I cook a great crispy roast chicken, gravy, all the drink. I'll call you. Hey, I've got to hand it to you, Nicks. You've certainly got away with men. Yeah, that's right. The ones with the snakeskin detail. And when did you say your sailings? Oh, um, uh, yes, madam. I, I will indeed, madam. And may I offer our deepest sympathies? Bye. Who's died? Oh, no, that was just some lawyer woman on the phone complaining about her meal last night. Voya? Yeah, she's, uh, she says she's got food poisoning from your food. She had the fish pie. Diane said it's not a bit funny. Anyway, she's been throwing up all night and said she'll see you in court. No, no, no. Empty threats, Trish. She can't have picked it up it. I had that pie myself for tea last night. Yeah, well, as long as you're not worrying about it. Well, not unless she drops dead in the next few hours. Listen, um, I thought I might pop over and see Lisa when I finish lunches, just to see how the land lies. Oh, you know? well, take this up to her, will ya? There's an article in here that's so for her. <laughs> Dumped. For a woman half my age. That's nice. Mysteries of the male menopause revealed. Well, that's going to make her feel a lot better. Well, just to let her know that she's not on her own. I... Told you. One sniff of blood and she's on to us for the kill. That is not why I'm here. Well, he'll have your money when I can work out a way of getting it. We can sort that out later. See that, Lisa? Married to a millionaire, she still can't let us off the hook. Look, Lisa, what is important now is you and Belle. I don't want you to worry about the money. Oh, well, I wish you'd said that six weeks ago. I might still have had an husband here. Well, he's not gone for good, has he? He'll be back when he's made his fortune. He wasn't seeing anyone else, was he? Well, if he was, he'd never have lived to tell the tale. No, we're skinting, that's what did it. He's a proud man, is Zach. It broke his heart. Being up to his eyes in debt and not being able to provide for his family. So he's upped and left you providing for him instead? Oh, well, what a man. Oi! <laughs> he is a man of his word and he'll see her right. Now, if you finish sticking your nose in, why don't you just get lost? Uh, no, no, you'll stop for a drink, Charity. If that's what you want, Lise. Yeah, well, you've shown where your loyalty's lie and I'd like to thank you for it. Like a true dingle, at the first sign of trouble, you come straight over to do your bit. What are you waiting for, Kane? Get the lass a drink. I tell you, it's hell living there. Knickers all over the radiator. I don't know what she thinks pink nylon does for a man, but, well, maybe that's why she don't hang on to him longer than five minutes, eh? <laughs> And talk about obsessive vis-a-vis -vis her dad. There's a case for Ricky Lake, if ever I saw one. Who are you two dissecting this time, eh? I just think Sad is the most desperate woman in the village. And you won't be gossiping about yourself now, Mrs Hope. Think blonde, baleful and full of bile. Well, uh, that'd have to be Nicola. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dish the dirt, we won't tell. Excuse me, ladies. And the way she chucks herself at Neil. And he ain't remotely interested. Oh, it's enough to make you sick. You don't fancy him yourself, do you? Well, Nicola seems to think so. I said, Nickers, if I wanted him, I'd have him. I tell you, half an hour with me and he'd be putty in my hands. 20 quid says he'll be able to resist. Done. <sighs> Watch and learn, Viv. Watch and learn. Terry? Bob? How's it hanging? Not bad, thanks. Yeah, you, uh, you busy tonight? No, usual social well, you know, a couple of cocktail parties, dinner, then I thought I'd go on to the club. Fancy a few jars, give me darts, just you and me. 
Why would I want to do that? Well, that's what mates do, innit? Have a drink together. All right. Yeah, and uh, I thought after Christmas Day, well, I, I know that we've we've really let you down, mate. Well, you've done worse than that, mate. You waited till I were down, then you kicked me in the stomach. Look, I've, I've told you that I'm sorry. I'm, I've been an idiot, Terry. I, you're, you're straight as a die. You're the straightest of straight men. And where were you when I needed a mate? Someone to believe that wasn't just some twisted psychopath. I'll tell you where you were. You were with the rest of the lynch mob. Running me down. Slagging me off, not to me face. So if it's all the same to you, mate, drinking me out. Go on, darling. It's my treat. Very kind of you. <laughs> I thought it was about time you received some proper warm Yorkshire hospitality. <laughs> There's only one reason my mum buys younger men drinks. Oh, in that case, make it a large one. He's over there. Come on. Marlon! Luke, Luke, if it's about Zach, I'm no more enlightened than you are. OK. That man over there, he's a restaurant reviewer for the Courier. A reviewer? Mm, doesn't look very happy, does he? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's ordered my new chilli fish cakes. I knew I'd overdone them. Oh, it's... I'm, I'm just... Everything all right, sir? Fine, thanks. Well, only I couldn't have noticed you haven't touched your lunch. <laughs> That's because this lunch belongs to my wife. And you've heard nothing more from this mysterious stalker? No. Ooh, a bit of a coincidence. The stalking appears to have stopped on Ray's death. I suppose so. Any theories? Maybe. M maybe with Ray gone, whoever it is no longer feels threatened by the fact that I had a partner. I don't know. All I know is that I'll never find another man who loves me as much as Ray did. And all you can do is sit there and ask me all these questions. I appreciate how distressing this must be for you. But if we could continue... the olive branch, Bob. If he chooses not to take it... It'll take more than that to restore relations. We have really let him down, Viv. It wasn't just us. It was Louise who accused him. That makes it even worse. I'm his mate. I should have stood up for him. Instead, I abandoned him when he needed us the most. Well, you can hardly blame him for being annoyed, can you? Some festive Christmas. One dead Irish entrepreneur. One recently deceased copper, God bless her. One grieving family, one grieving girlfriend, one stalker still on the loose, one stalker wrongly accused, and now we've lost our best friend to boot. Roll on next year, eh? Is there somewhere we can go for a quick chat? Yeah. Here we go. One salad for you, Mum. No dressing. And one steak medium rare for you. Thanks. And you've been eating a string of garlic thrown round your neck. Thank you, Tricia. She's so protective of her old mum, aren't you, darling? Oh, it isn't you that needs protecting, mum. <laughs> oh, I think you can tell a lot by the way a man eats, don't you? I've never noticed myself. <laughs> That's what we mature ladies have got in our favour. Well, we know our way around. We know how to treat a real man. These young girls. I mean, they're so needy. All they want is a white frock and a walk down the aisle. Get your geriatric claws off my man! Who's man? Nicola, Neil and I were just having a spot of lunch. Would you like to join us, sweetheart? <laughs> Sorry, my hand slipped. Oh, you forgot the dressing. just dumped salad all over me, Mum. Do you know what? I, I don't want to know. I don't care and I don't want to know. I'm going to Lisa's. I've got this 
chicken alamar long with extra paprika and double cream and it's guaranteed to bring a smile back to your face, so... Oh, don't talk to me about food, I'm feeling really queasy. You never said. Oh, it's been on and off since last weekend and it gets loads worse in the mornings. Oh, they won't go if you're not so well. Oh, no, no, you go. Lisa needs you more than I do. Well, just ring me if it gets any worse and I'll come right back. I'll manage. Nicola and your mum are still arguing. Oh. It's not my problem, mate. I've got a mercy mission with the casserole, so... When Louise called you, how did she sound? Like Louise. Was she distressed? Frightened? Angry? Well, we didn't talk. She left a message saying how sorry she was for everything that she put me through over the stalking business. And you didn't think that an odd thing to do? No, no, it's just like Louise. I mean, she can be quite impulsive at times. Uh, she just said how bad she felt for suspecting me. We're old friends. Can I listen to this message? No, I, uh, I deleted it. I, I delete them all mm. when I've heard them. And how do you feel now about Louise? Well, she's been through a lot, losing Ray. Feel sorry for her. So you'd say you were still friends? Oh, definitely. Still friends. That's very charitable of you. And after all her allegations got you banged up a couple of times. In a small village like this, but that caused you all sorts of problems. Not all men would be so understanding. You're far too young for you, aren't you, Neil? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ladies, ladies, please desist. At least I'm not desperate. You had a lucky escape there, boy. This is undignified, Mother. Marlon, tell her. Um, uh... You're doing yourself no favours, Nicola. Men don't like screaming Aridans who show them up in public. Tell her, Neil. Well, well call yourself a woman. I've seen men in drag more feminine than you. Right, that's it. You're barred. You're both barred. Oh, shut, shut up, Trisha. Trisha. Well, seeing as though you're so confident, let's put it to the test. Let Neil decide which one of us he wants, hmm? I want nothing to do with either of you two lunatic witches ever again. Uh, Neil? Party in your hands. Pay me when you want. Charity, will you cut middle bits out for us? I can't do it. Of course I will, Sammy. Time. What are you up to, Sammy? Well, not to let these candles go out until my dad's back. <laughs> Oi! That's my dad's chair. Lisa, tell Fatek to get out my dad's chair. Uh, get off it, please, Kane. And about. <clears throat> it's Belle's chair now. Isn't it, Belle? Hiya. Listen, uh, I bought your casserole. I don't think you feel like cooking. Oh, thanks, love. Mwah. Oh, you'll stop for your teas, won't you? Charity? I will, yeah. Just not expecting me back. So, what's going on then, with Uncle Zai? Oh, tell him, Sam. My dad's gone to Buenos... Um, Buenos... Buenos uh, Aires. To make his fortune, returning with uh, golden bars wetted down in his pockets. <laughs> really? Right, well, glad that's cleared up. Oh, what am I thinking of? You'll have a see, won't you? Ta. Do you want a drink, Marlon? Oh, yeah. Kane, do the honours, will you? Why did she ask you that? Well, she was probably just checking our stories. Standard police stuff. Well, it's more than that now. And she's got my phone records. She knows I lied about the phone call to you. Yeah, but I backed you up. Why question you about how you felt about me? All I know is if, if she did have something on you, she'd have arrested you by now. I mean, she's not going to mess about. Yeah, but if she digs deeper... Well, it's obvious. If she thought he'd had an accident, she wouldn't be asking me all these questions. Terry, what am I going to do? <clears throat> Would you 
pass me the salt, please, Nicola? <clears throat> Trisha, I'm back. I need a cuddle. I'll be right down. I'm just drying the air. Oh, Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. What is it, babes? <laughs> Pathetic. What are we gonna? And I thought I was gullible. Huh? But what about the magazine? Hello, is that the 24 hour order line? You. you evil! You've set all this up just so. The, so you're not pregnant! Do you think I'd be under a size 10 if I was pregnant? Get off those magazines! I borrowed them off Viv. Yes, hello, hello. I'd like to make an order, please. <laughs> and while he's away, we won't let him down. No. We're going to hold our heads up high, no matter what folks say, cos we know he's going to come back through that door with his pockets full of gold. Until he does. I'll look after us. I'll take care of this family. I'll keep the roof over our heads. I'll make sure you want for nothing. From now on, I'm your mummy and your daddy. You don't have to worry about a thing, lovey. Not one little thing. No.